Hello, I'm David and today I'm going to be showing you my coin collection. So first of all, I've got two original £1 notes, when there was £1 notes, Isaac Newton. So on the back, you've got the Isaac Newton, Sir Isaac Newton. I've got two of them. I will be aiming to get the original paper, fa uh, the paper £5 note that's gone out of circulation now and um, I'm going to be keeping paper £10 and £20 so when the new polymer notes come in I'll still have the original ones. This is my foreign money, I've got Barbados, American, Indian, Mexican, $1.50, stuff like that, $0.10, cents. so that's my foreign money, I've not got very much of that but uh, I'm sure I'll build that up as I go on holiday. Then I've got the 200 coin albums which hold 200 coins. I'm trying to work, I'm aiming to get every 1p, 2p, 5p, 10p, 20p vintage dates from 1968 to now. So I've got a lot of the one pennies, the two p's, a couple of five p's, not very many of them I don't have, uh, 10 p's, and finally the 20 p's. So yeah, that's what I'm aiming to do, every single uh, vintage date that there was made. So that's that album. Now we are on to the £1.50p album, so I've got most of these, I've got a battered £1 coin which hardly resembles a £1 coin because of the dents and chips in it, I've got a fake £1 coin, round £1 coin, I'm trying to collect every single design but with all the mintage dates, so like the shield, I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mintage dates, so I'm trying to get every single one, I've got 6 of 8 of them and so on and I've got I think I've got a fake 12 sided one because in the tiny writing around the sides that you can't see with the naked eye um, it doesn't say um, 2017 like the back does so that's that then I've got my 50 P's Beatrix Potter Olympics a couple of Olympics a uh, couple of the different design ones so Beatrix Potter I've got the Beatrix Potter one Squirrel Nutkin Peter Rabbit Miss Tiggy Winkle then I've got every single mintage date of the Britannia 50p's and the Royal Arms Shield 50p's. So there we go. So that's that. Then I've got an album full of old coins. So I've got 25p crowns, £5 coins, 3 penny bits, which is what the new 12-sided £1 coin was based off, the original Threat Me bit. Original large 1 pennies, shillings, more pennies half pennies, that's a shilling there, a big 5p when they were big and so on and so forth. So that's my large album. Now we're on to the good stuff. So I've got 1982 football Spanish coins which was the um, for the Espanya 82 series Numismatica. Then I've got the Queen's Beast, the two that have been released at the moment. They're being released over four years, so I'm going to be sure to get all of them as they come out. 90th birthday, £5 coin. England winning the World Cup, £5 coin. I've got the Jane Austen, £2, which was only released into circulation a couple of days ago. This is the BU, BU £2 coin, brilliant uncirculated. Then I've got the Last Round Pound and um, the 12-sided £1 coin. Then I've got the Sir Isaac Newton 50p, an old Hammered, which isn't a real Hammered, otherwise it'd be worth a few thousand pounds, but that was a remake of an original Hammered. Then the 2017 Round Pound, which is actually from the Isle of Man. But British Isles in the Isle of Man are carrying on doing Round Pounds, so that's the only time you'll see new Round Pounds. So now I've got a few more crowns, then we're on to my two pounds collection. So I've got First World War, Shakespeare, Britannia's, so on and so forth, I'll just zoom out on that, there we go. Then I've got the circulating coins of the United Kingdom that form the Royal Arms Shield. That's the change checker page, see how it forms a shield. So that's that. Then I've got my different dates of normal £2 coins. They're all different dates. Then I've got two of the exact same uh, proof coins from the Popjoy Mints that my dad found in the loft. Um, and I think they're 25p crowns if I'm correct, yeah, Isle of Man proof coins. Now I've got Beatrix Potter 2017 collector's album. I've not actually put any in because I've got the 2017 uh, Peter Rabbit and Jeremy Fisher Brilliant and Circulated coming in a couple of days or so and then when the t other two are released I'll put them in. 
So that's that. Then I've got the silver proof Peter Rabbit 50p for 2017. Certificate of authenticity behind. Got Jeremy Fisher. I'll be getting the um, Tom Kitten and the uh, Benjamin Bunny as they come out as well. And then I've got the Olympic 50p album. I've not got any of these. Well, I do in my normal album, but not in this album. I've not put any in yet. So I'll be buying them off eBay um, in about a week or two. And I'll be putting that in and I'll be buying the completed medallion. This is the, the 30,000 of these albums were made, but then they were discontinued as they made two spelling mistakes. Instead of putting medallion, they put medallion. And on the back, they did a spelling mistake saying coin rather than coin. So that's actually quite rare. And that's a Lighthouse 50, Olympic 50p album. So I hope you've enjoyed my collection. Um, and I hope that uh, you have collections as good as this as well. So thank you for watching, uh, this is my coin collection for the entry for the UK coin hunt coin collection of the week and I hope I win. Thanks for watching, goodbye.
welcome to my uh, first video. In this video, I'm just going to be showing off my collection so far, uh, what I've got, and I'm just going to be talking about what I'll be doing in the future uh, on this channel, uh, like bank runs and stuff. So, uh, without any further ado, uh, let's get straight into uh, the coin albums, and I'm going to start off with the uh, 50p album here. Alright guys, so this is my uh, 50p album, or 50 pence album, whatever you want to say. Uh, I managed to get this pretty cheap really, because on eBay prices at the moment they're about £40 plus, and I actually managed to get this album along with my two bound album, the pair for £35 posted, which is really good. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good condition, just like a couple of light scratches on the front. You can't really see it though. Um, uh, yeah, so I pretty much completed this album already. Um, as you can see, full here. And uh, the Britannia in the top here is the 2008. Uh, it has the lowest mintage. I just managed to pick that up in the bank run. I actually got two, but I put one of them back in the bank run change. So I got that. And then um, the other rare on ish, rare ish, uh, is this Suffragette. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, all the others are pretty common on this side, though. Um, uh, then I've got to take this piece of paper out. Uh, on this part here, I've got everything again. I'm just missing the queue, the queue gardens here, obviously, because there's 210,000 minted, which is really hard to get. Um, so I might one day just buy it so I have the complete album. Uh, I've got the um, the WWF as well, which is pretty like rareish, and I've got really shiny Benjamin Britten. Uh, it's like barely circulated. And then over here, I'm only missing another two coins. So I'm three coins off getting the full album, which isn't bad. I've got uh, all these here. Battle of Hastings and stuff. Uh, this one here is the Puddle Duck. I did have it, but I sold it because I got a pretty good price for it. And I've already organised a swap, so I'll be having that Puddle Duck there. And then uh, I'll have the full set of Beatrix Potters. And then I'm just missing the Isaac Newton as well, because it's not officially out yet, so I can't really get it, unless you live, like, I think, like, down south, like, Cornwall area. I think you get it around there. And then, so, uh, basically, I'm just missing three coins for this, but I have got, I am getting the Puddle Duck, so, yeah, that'll be good. So, but I'm not saying I'm not going to be doing 50p bank runs. I'll do loads of them, probably even more than £2 coins, because... Uh, I still need all my Olympic 50p's, which we're going to move on to next. So I'll show you my Olympic 50p's now. Alright guys, so this is uh, my Olympic 50p album. Um, it's not as full as the normal 50p album. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so probably about half full. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and yeah, so I've got quite good ones really I'm just missing a couple of the rare ones but I've managed to get the rare triathlon and uh, I've got the I had the offside but I sold it again because I got a good price I've got the wrestling as well um, and this one isn't the official Roman album because they are just crazy prices really for what they are um, so I just thought I'd go for this one because it's pretty similar it's just like not as good quality and stuff um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm not missing too many, but uh, these will kind of, the ones that I'm missing like cycling, handball, rowing, sailing, volleyball, rugby, wheelchair rugby, they're all kind of like pretty easy to get in bank runs, because uh, I've done like most of the hard work with like the triathlon and the wrestling, it's just like the offside and stuff, I need that as well, it's going to be pretty hard to get, um, yeah, so that should be alright to get in the bank runs. Uh, probably when I do my next bank run, I'm probably going to start off, like the first bank run I do, I'm probably going to do 50p's, uh, which will be in my next video, I'll probably do like £220 in it, um, yeah, and then hopefully we get this album a bit more full, or hopefully we get like a Q or Puddle Duck or something for my other album, um, I will do £2 as well. Um, I'll just start off with 50p's and probably alternate like 50p's, 2 pounds 50p's, 2 pounds like that. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to move on to my £2 coin album here. Uh, this is really good. I think I said previously I got it with uh, this album here. Uh, the two for £35 posted. 
uh, which is a really good price. I'm really happy about that because it is a brilliant album uh, for what it is. Because it's like the special edition one, like kind of thing, not like the plain white one. Um, uh, yeah, so um, not as full. I'm still missing all the Commonwealths, which is really annoying. So hopefully I'll get them in a bank run because I don't want to have to buy them because I. Northern Ireland is like thirty-five pounds, and like Wales is like fifteen, and the other two are like ten plus each. So it's going to be really annoying if I have to buy them. Uh, but I'm just hoping I'll get them uh, in a bank room, because uh, I, I yeah I don't want to buy them. Um, and then I've got a really shiny one of the uh, the history of technology, like the normal two pound coin. Um, and yeah, so I'm missing the um, the Commonwealth here. Alright, so I'll move on to this bit. I'm only missing the uh, Olympic handover to Beijing to London. Uh, but I've got all the other ones on here. I've got uh, the set of Brunels. They're like, they're like really easy to get though anyway. And then uh, I actually have got two of these. Um, so probably in the future I'm sure someone will swap with me. Uh, yeah, so I'll probably get that swapped. And then... I've got these down here, and then I'm missing the other handover, London to Rio, and the train set. I don't have either of them, which is annoying because I really like these two. I see a lot of people get them as well, but I just can't get them, so I'll keep trying for them ones. Uh, same with like HMS Belfast or Royal First World War. I don't, I don't actually know what it's called. I think it's, I, I just go by the name on here, but I think people call it HMS Belfast. But uh, First World War, I can't get that. And Magna Carta, yes, yeah, so many people get loads of them, but can't get that yet. And then, uh, moving on to the back. Oh, what am I doing? Moving on to the back. Uh, I am missing, obviously, the 2017 coins, because when I'm recording this video, they're not even out yet. You can just get them off for a moment, but again, I don't really want to do that. I'd rather wait till they get into circulation. And then, I'm missing the uh, crown and the school for the Shakespeare set. I've already arranged a swap with the crown, so that will just leave me missing the school. Um, same with the puddle duck, I've already got that. So I'm just mi missing the Q and Newton. Uh, but yeah, so pretty good. I mean, I've only been collecting two weeks, so to get all that in two weeks isn't too bad, really. Um, so I'll just talk about what I'm going to be doing on this channel. I've already briefly mentioned it, but I'll just be doing bank runs... Um, maybe in the future when I get like these a bit more full I might do like another showing you like the full albums and stuff. Um, yeah so I'll start with uh, a 50p uh, bank run. I'll probably go 220 or 200 and then um, do that. Uh, so yeah if you do like the, this channel, if you like the idea of it then please subscribe because uh, it'll help me out a lot. And um, I'm thinking because I'll probably end up with like loads of doubles, like duplicates of coins. Um, over, I've already got quite a few, but I just put them back in the uh, the bank coins. Um, I might just sell them. I might get like my own website and just uh, sell them. Uh, probably won't make much on it. Like if it was like if I managed to get like loads of Commonwealths, then I, obviously they won't be face value. But like a few of the coins might just be over face value because like postage to be considered and stuff. So if it was like, let's say for example, because it'll be a large letter and then you can choose if you want it tracked, like recorded and stuff. I won't be posting like outside of UK though, it'll be UK only. Um, yeah, so like let's say if it's just like for an example like this coin here, it might be like £2 face value. So I might just sell it for like 2 50 plus like postage of your choice, like I'll, I'll send everything first class I think. I'll see. I like see how it goes, but I'm not going to be doing that for at least another couple of weeks because I've only just started the channel. I mean, this is my first video, but to get the idea of that is like sort of what I'm going to be planning to do. But anyway, I won't uh, go on too much long. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, just showing off my albums, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for uh, future videos and bank runs to come. Right, see you next week. Hello guys. Today is my first video on this channel. If you do enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you've got any ways on how to improve it, just leave a comment down below. So today I'll be showing off my collection. I've got quite a few sealed, so we'll start off with them. 
So I've got the brand new Jane Austen, brand new Mr. Jeremy Fisher. I've got the Nations of the Crown 2017 one pound 2017 Peter Rabbit and 2016 Squirrel Nutkin. Push them to the side. I'll just point out I do collect all types of coins. So here is my two pound coin album. I'll just remove the paper. So I'm just missing a 1997 history technology and Commonwealth Northern Ireland. But I've got all the other coins. Also, the other I'm missing four, sorry, of the two pounds. It's the two 2017 ones. But I've got one Jane Austen uncirculated and we need for aviation. Another folder I've got is this celebrating the wonderful world of Miss Potter, the Beatrix Potter book. If you are a new collector, um, when I first received this folder I thought it was going to be much bigger. That's about the size of my hand. These aren't as big as people think they are. I've also got this coin book with some coins in. I know it isn't very clear, so I'll try and put my hand underneath. And just some pre 1997 stuff. Full set of cities, full set of flowers. And then nearly every 50p bar, Kew Gardens, the new Beatrix Potter, and Isaac Newton. I've got every, I've got a full set every single one of the Olympics. I've also got a few territories and the 2008 Britannia. And these are just my spare coins. I've also got this Falkland Penguin set and the Rock Hopper Penguin. I'll bring them out for you. So this Rock Hopper Penguin is diamond finish. He was relatively inexpensive and is very nice. He just sticks back right in there. We also have EEC, Bill of Rights, St. Helena Turtle, I think this is like a 25p crown, I've got two of them, and that's all I've got. If you did enjoy today's episode, please leave it a like and a thumbs up.